You've seen it on TV as Superstation. Now it's coming to video. It's showtime. Introducing the Dinner and a Movie video series. Now you can enjoy Warner Home Video favorites, Beetlejuice, Grumpy Old Men, Blazing Saddles, and National Lampoon's Vacation, and learn to make delicious movie-inspired dishes with Dinner and a Movie chef Claude Mann. Each specially marked video contains a booklet with recipes and rebate offers brought to you by Warner Home Video, TBS, and Shake and Bake. The Dinner and a Movie video series, a tasty way to enjoy your favorite films. Beans and cornbread. Beans and cornbread. Beans and cornbread. Beans Hi, and hello. How are you? Perhaps you're wondering who we are. Hey, I'm wondering who we no, are. No, you're not. I'm Claude Mann. I'm the TBS food guy, and I'm the chef of the TBS dinner and a movie every Friday night on the Superstation. That's right. And this is Larry De La Guardia. Hello. Larry helps me around the kitchen whenever I can. That's right. Perhaps you're wondering what we're doing. Hey, I'm wondering what we're no, doing. No, you're here. not. We're here to watch Blazing Saddles. That's right. 1974 classic. <laughs> Probably the highest racing wrestler of all time. Of course, starring Mel Brooks, uh, Cleavon Little, uh, Harvey Gorman, Slim Pickens, Madeline Kahn. That's right. And in honor of the movie, we're making Wilder West Chili <laughs> with Madeline Con Carne. Oh. Oh, I is see what you did. That's, that's, what we, that's what we do on How the show. Do you do it? Well, we always, on Friday nights, we watch a great, great movie and we cook a great, great, great meal that's somehow been inspired by the movie. When, <laughs> we, when we watched Fame, what did we make? We made, uh, I, uh, uh, I want, uh, I want liver forever. I, I want to learn, learn how to fry. fry. That's right. Can't you see that's the last act of a desperate man? And when we watch Nine to Five, uh, male chauvinist pig. I am depressed. That's right. That's what we do. And that's what you can do, too. We're going to watch a movie. We're going to make some great food together. And uh, to do that, you're going to need to pull out the recipe that you got with the video. Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> and go through very quickly. We're going to need some things for the recipe. We're going to need beans and celery and crushed tomatoes and beans and <laughs> onions and peppers and beans <laughs> and beer and beef and stock and a lot of other things. Beans! That's it. <laughs> chili spices. You're going to need a lot of great chili spices, not just a jar of chili powder. That's how you make good chili. And beans! of course, skirt steak. Larry loves beans, by the way. <laughs> and do. ground pork. So come on back. Put the machine on pause. We're going to cook a great meal. Yes, here we ready? go. One, two, three. Beans! beans and cornbread. Beans and cornbread. Beans and cornbread. Oh, good. You're back. You caught us. We started without you. We just wanted to start browning the meat. Now, it's uh, very important when you do cook meat in any recipe, not just this recipe, that when it says to, to, to saute or to brown, don't crowd the pan. Yeah, no, hey, pan. No, 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 that means don't put, don't put too much of whatever you're cooking in the pan, because yeah. otherwise, what'll happen, it's going to steam instead of brown, and you're not going to get the nice flavors from browning the meat. Go ahead and put that in yeah, there. Give me this. Thank you. Very good. We're using two skillets. We're browning in one. We're actually going to cook all the chili in a cast oh. iron uh, Dutch oven. That smells all right. Pour the grease good. out. Very good. All right. Next step, garlic. Garlic. Onion. I love garlic. I love onions. Jalapeno. <laughs> smell that. Yeah, smell it. Is yeah. that great? Hello, onions. There we go. <laughs> I'll do. Stir that around. It's just going to get coated with a little bit of the oil. Then we're going to roast the spices. We've got the sage, mm. the coriander, mm. the cumin. Yes. The oregano. Look at you. Hello. The, here we go. Oh, we've got here the chili powder. Hello, chili powder. And the cayenne. We're going to use a lot. We well, like I it hot. Do. Oh, yeah. Stir it around and get a smell of that. See how that smells? Yeah, that's Isn't that a, great? Yeah, it's uh, going to be strong. The flavors of all it? the spices, they roast. As they roast, the flavors come out. It makes good. it much, much richer and much better. The next thing we're going to be adding is the bell pepper. Hello, bell. Celery. Reckon you wandered in, celery. That's hey. the tomato. And the roasted peppers. Nice. Stir those all around. Yes. Transfer those now to the Dutch oven. Is that good enough? That's beautiful. Okay. You're a natural. Thank you, Claude. You okay. Went so bad yourself. <laughs> Pull the oven up here. Right here, like that. Mm -hmm. Just Excellent. like that. The next step. Beer. Cerveza. Beef stock. And you could make this yourself or buy canned beef broth and still be great. Very nice. And of course, that. beans. That's right. <laughs> One. Two. Can't have enough. Give me another one. Okay, more beans. Hey, you know that one scene from uh, Blazing Saddles where uh, all the cowboys are sitting around the campfire and they're they're eating beans and they're all uh... Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, that's why I I wrote this recipe. 
Hey, that's right! I didn't even think of that! You're a genius, Claude! Oh, what a nice guy. But actually, <laughs> had are. they decided to soak their beans, they probably wouldn't have had that problem. Because if you do soak beans, what happens is a lot of the compounds that cause all the turbulence, gastrointestinal turbulence, will go out in the water. And then you can just pour the water out, or you could save it and serve it to your mother. Mother? Or your mother-in-law. Oh, okay. Kinky! Well, I can see that, but uh, tell me this, uh -huh. cowboy. Why would you want to remove all that uh, fabulous uh, stuff from a bean? I don't know. <laughs> what you want to remember now is go ahead and bring this to a boil and then turn it down to a simmer. Don't let it boil long and let it cook for at least 45 minutes. And it's going to be fantastic. I'm glad we didn't remove the stuff from our beans. Hey, 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 I got one for you. See if you can figure this one out. Hey, where are the white beans at? We didn't use it in the recipe, I just had the... Uh... No, 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 it's, it's from the movie. Hey, boys, where are the white women at? <laughs> That's, well, it's a, it says it a little differently, but... Yeah. Uh, it smells good. It does smell good. <laughs> dee, 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 dee. Look at that. That's cooked for just about 45 minutes now. You could cook it for longer if you wanted to, but this looks perfect. What I did was I put in a little bit of masa arena, which is uh, tortilla flour. It'll thicken it right up almost instantaneously, and it also gives it some richness. Gives it some nice flavor. That looks really, really good, Claude. Can I have my bowl? Yes, you may. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm Does so Mongo excited. like chili? Mongo like candy. Mongo love chili. Mongo get chili. <laughs> I'm so excited about this movie. Mel Brooks, my favorite guy. Also, Richard Pryor was one of the writers on Blazing Saddles. Oh, wait, I forgot something. Hold on. Throw, throw out color. your hands, stick out your tush, hands on your hips, <laughs> give them a push! <laughs> I gotta get the hats. Here's yours. Okay, Calvo. Thank you very much. Here's mine. You know the character that Mel Brooks plays, uh, Le Petame? Mm -hmm. He's a real character in France that would, would do whole stage shows at the Opera House. Uh -huh. Just passing gas and making melodies. You're kidding me. <laughs> I don't want to give you any ideas. Maybe I should try that. God knows I have the instrument. <laughs> Do you have your condiments? I am ready. Do you have your spoon? I am ready. Do you have your hat? I am ready. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah! <laughs> give him a number six. Oh, we're really good. The Dinner in a Movie video series is brought to you by the good people at Shake and Bake. Look for a local grocer.